All right, hey, so welcome to the Adventure Rodeo. I am Drew Hayes. Joining me, as always, is Steve Wetherill, a.k.a. Hasselhoof. Hello. Should I say, moo. <laughs> you, you very mooch should. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I let's see. So I am Drew Hayes. We are authors on the Authors and Dragons podcast, uh, which you might know if you're watching this on YouTube via the you know Authors and Dragons podcast network. So uh, we have to remember to plug that at the top of this. We're making a point of yeah. it. By God, <laughs> gonna be better. We're gonna be better. <laughs> it's it's useful. Yeah. Uh, and this is the Adventure Brodeo. Bum, 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 Adventure Brodeo. And today off to the fair we go. We're gonna make that turtle pay. And there's no other rhyme because fuck that turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That was jolly. That was very I love Lucy. But I hate turtle. <laughs> it's really a little truer to who we are as people. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's a cow's life. Working hard and getting turtle vengeance. Sweet, tasty turtle vengeance. All right. Well, as we said today, we're going back to the fair, man. It it has been a while. We uh, I think we all just need a day at the damn fair. I think that's just where everything is right now. We worked really hard for like one episode. I think we deserve a day off. Oh, and you know what we have to remember to do before we head off uh, into that? BAM! That's right. We worked hard. We earned them. Let's ride these the ten feet to the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely happy of how this turned out, Drew. These, these rides aren't as cool as I was anticipating. <laughs> Yeah, some of the awesome stuff that other people are riding sets a, uh, let's say, unrealistic expectation <laughs> for level yeah. 20. I think we look kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to say it looks like we're riding dog turds. <laughs> yeah, but it sort of does. It sort of does. I Where think... are the ding-danged elevators at? I don't know how they manage it, but they even move like turds. I don't think <laughs> that was possible, of, but just an yeah. Oh, there is definitely a a turdiness to them. Just a, a general turdishness, yeah. But we are moving faster, so at least they're slick turds. This is definitely not oh, what we're supposed yeah. to be going. <laughs> oh, but I see an elevator. There we go. That all worked out. Better quite lucky well. than smart. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't really have a choice in the matter, but... I made my deal with the devil at the crossroads and haven't looked... At least his... Is that... Is that a... Is that a bear? No, that's a... That's a Kodo thing. But theirs look cooler. Less... I guess fur turded? Yeah. That... That... That one does look cool, yeah. Uh... Oh no! Oh, oh no! I couldn't get off! Uh, okay, we gotta find the flight person, I think. That's where the teleportation to the fair usually is. Now, will we be able to find the flight person? <laughs> uh, okay, they are this way. Ever since we got a mount, so we can not find things faster. If anything, we've lost efficiency pretty, yeah. pretty well. I think there's a saying about failing quickly, but I can only remember the first part. Which is failing quickly. Look for a shifty guy near balloons. Oh, there they are. Hello there, person who's definitely trustworthy, I'm sure. What business have you? Take me to the fair. Doesn't have quite the same ring as take me to church, but. Mm. Still bad, though. No. All right, fair time. Got a little bit more of an idea of what's going on this time. So, you know, a little bit more prepared. I think I've even still got 
some tickets left from the last fair. I made a point of stopping off by the uh, bank and picking up my fair tokens and whatnot. Ah, smart. I didn't even put mine in the bank. Oh, there you are. All right, let's go through. We are through. Well, nearly. Just flying through the void for a bit. Here we go. I guess we don't need their uh, purple bird mounts anymore. We don't need them. But it's still cooler than... <laughs> You're right, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that chicken. Ask it to be back. All right. There's our goal. We have to make enough tokens to get a cooler mount from the fair in one episode uh, which is i'm almost a million percent sure not possible no i mean i wasn't very good at things last time we were here there's also just a daily limit of how much can be done oh what yeah because you can well, do each blue que quest once oh man all right i'm gonna open with the cannon Oh, the cannon. It's a joy. Step up to get blown up. Absolutely. All right. Launch me. Launch me! Woo! I overshot it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, it's the taking part that counts. I mean, that's that's the, the slow the burn of game. the cannon, just a little bit at a time. Yep. Ah, all right. Oh, I had to shut it quite significantly. We are quite the combo. Mm. Somewhere in between this is a competent cowman. Is that just a straight up? Antelope, giraffe, zebra. You just slapped like three different animals together. This is yeah. gotta be a crime against whatever god rules here. <laughs> I don't know. I think it works. I mean, some of these things are like, all right, yeah, sure, basilisk monster, tiger wearing a. Uh, a Halloween costume, it looks like. Just a crappy fangs and a fake extra fur. I seem to be in some kind of uh, farm or zoo. Um, I don't know. None of the creatures look that much more odd than I do. Well, speaking of animals we hate... Yeah, let's fuck up that tail. <laughs> and by fuck up, we mean try not to get our asses kicked. Okay, so I've I've played the turtle enough. I feel like I have a strategy. Do you have a strategy for this? No, just rage. All right. I'm just going to rely on rage. See you later. Let's do this. Hoping there'd be like some way we could uh, you know, maybe hijack something from the tank game, and bring it to the turtle game. All right, I got one. I got one. You did. I saw that. Well yeah. done, man. So the trick I found is to put it in the center, and then wherever he goes, as soon as he stops moving, like the instant he stops, throw it. I've been too slow on a couple of these. And then, yep, you'll usually hit him. And... Damn, missed. Oh, I'm not good at this turtle. Come on, he's right there, man. He's right next to your hassle hoof. Why must you disappoint me? Yeah, I'm not doing great either on this one. Stopped. Come on, hit that turtle! Yes! Take that. I've shamed you, turtle. I've bested you in one. I have yet to shame the turtle. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a, like just the worst kind of thing. <laughs> I'm going to go shame the turtle. Oh, God, don't <laughs> tell me about it. You sick 
monster. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those euphemisms that's just far more horrible than whatever it's supposed to convey. Hassle hoof, hassle hoof. You got one. Yes, yes. How many is that bringing you up to? Uh, I got. I think I had two outstanding from the last time I was here. Looks like you just so got another I've got, one. I got three out of three. All right, you're yeah, done, I'm sir. Turtle now. <laughs> now it's I, uh, just personal. I'm the turtle master. We've bested a turtle. T-shirt that says, I shame the turtle at Dark Mood Fair. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you're our t-shirt guy, Steve. So <laughs> if you want to make that, I uh, I would get one. I'm going to rub this goblin for some more tokens. Sack of tokens, please, goblin. Thanking you. Oh, this is the flying one. Why are there so many injured carnies in here? I mean, have you looked around the safety? Wait, there's injured carnies? <laughs> yeah, just a whole ten of them. There's about a dozen of them. Let's see. Injured? Oh, wow, no, that's... I thought you might have been, like, inferring something. But yeah, this is just a whole... <laughs> no, no, so... I mean, this doesn't look like a very safe fair. I can't say I'm blown away by that revelation. Yeah, we may maybe... But I would have thought like more for the customers rather than the carnies. Then again, it's going to be a lot of people getting really fucking angry about that tail. You're going to go fly through the air with the greatest of ease. The daring young cat on the flying trap. I'm not I like sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be clear about that. <laughs> oh, come on, where is... Where is the flying man? Oh no, I pushed it too far! I made it, alright. I really feel like cat form lets me go faster in this than I should be able to. Because I've tried to do this in not cat form and it is much harder. There is a dancing bear here. Uh, got it. Come on, come on, come on! It's a very fun minigame, I have to say. Oh yeah, so uh, at some point we're supposed to at least talk about a little of uh, what we've been doing writing-wise. Uh, yeah. I suppose we should. I mean, last time we had a major reveal of a secret project. Yeah! Uh, yeah, one of my secret turns out they do exist, and I wasn't just stalling. Yet, uh, working on a new Brandon Fymaster book with the legendary E.M. Kaplan, who has been a sometimes guest on the author's Dragon Show, even a uh, a guest GM at one point. She was responsible for the famous uh, tree jerking off scene, <laughs> memorable moment in the podcast for all of us. Famous in that. Um... The moment was famous, not in that you jerked off of Tree, who was particularly famous. Yeah, yeah, the, the tree was um, tree was a nobody until I came along. <laughs> I made that tree. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, I've been uh, plugging away at that, plus my other secret project, which shall remain a secret for the time being. I mean, you can't go giving them all away back to back. We've gotta, gotta no. save a little for everybody. Absolutely. Ah, yeah, it's the tank challenges next. Or what are you taking on? I don't know, there's a cake stand here. A cake stand? Like a stand for cakes? Yeah, well, she's just selling cakes. Oh, mm. I... <laughs> Not like you can't... Do... I definitely was cake. picturing someone doing a keg stand on top of a giant cake <laughs> and just eating their way straight down. Oh, that'd be, um, I yeah, mean, if that was an option. I'm kind of down for that now. Can we yeah, make absolutely. cake stands a thing? Because uh, it feels like we should. Not against it one bit. 
Ah, uh, all right. I gotta shoot things. Oh, this is adorable. I just I'm in the children's play area on one of the uh the springy animals. <laughs> that is fun. And Hasselhoof looks like he's having the time of his life. Oh, this is adorable. I am running around little tank shooting targets amidst zeppelins. What a what a dark theming going on in this one. Ah <laughs> oh, god, a zeppelin got me. Again. I swore. I swore it would be the last time. <laughs> so what have you got going on then, Drew? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, writing talk, not just tiny tank talk. That's a separate <laughs> podcast just, I, that's behind yeah. the Patreon wall. <laughs> Shaming the tiny tank. <laughs> uh, so I have been working on the 5-Minute Sherlock sequel for the last few months. Uh, and I hit a good milestone, and I wrapped the rough draft uh, the other week. That means I still have a lot of uh, continuity and rewrites and etc. Um, but like the the rough is done, and so this week I've actually just been working on edits for uh, Villains Code. I like to let projects rest for a little bit, um, like after I finish them between review sessions. And so since I'm letting that one just kind of mellow for a week. Um, I've been working hard to get some progress made on Villains Code 2, because that will probably be going to the editors next month, would be my guess. Um, my goal is to have rewrites on that one done pretty soon as well. Keep it busy then. Yeah, yeah. Gotta gotta stay at it. Um, but the... Uh, the that, that was a good knocking point, and so that'll go to Audible the end of this month, and after that it's in their hands. So all scheduling will be completely outside my control uh, uh -huh. but you know someone going, else's problem yeah going pretty going pretty well i'm staying busy during lockdown healthy good i mean how, how's that been for your productivity well i had a deadline it? looming so i it's uh yeah. not an option for it to matter <laughs> Um, to be fair, it's not like Audible some unreasonable entity. I'm sure, given the circumstances, if I was like, hey, I need a little more time on this, I, they would probably be very accommodating. <laughs> but I pride myself on my professionalism and my work ethic and upholding my ends of a contract, doing what I'll say I'll do, etc. So, uh, you know, not missing a deadline is as important to me. And very professional. Luckily, I can say it doesn't look like it's going to be an issue for this one, barring some outlandish, uh, tremendous time upheaval, which is not a challenge if any cosmic <laughs> entity out there is listening. We are halfway through 2020, and I'm not looking to start shit with any kind of supernatural force, all right? Let's just be very clear. <laughs> I'm knocking yes. on wood. Whatever. Whatever it takes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely knock on some wood there. Uh, so yeah, that is my my current writing update. Very busy as always. I am actually <laughs> I've um, in my time between edits, I've been amusing myself by doing some outline work for my next shingles project, Action Cadabra. Ah uh, yes, looking forward to this one. And that has been a lot of fun. I I have put in probably way more work in just the outline than can possibly make it into the 20,000 word novella. Like there's, yeah. there's subplots. There's like things that are going on. There's backstory. It might have to be like the, the first shingles special. <laughs> Drew does shingles, meaning it's much too long. It's a hundred thousand words. Fuck you. I do what I want. Shingles, the epic. <laughs> Drew abuses his power. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no point having power if you can't abuse it, I suppose. Oh. I'm still in the whack and all uh booth, I guess. Yeah, it's it's a little tricky to uh hit like sometimes it feels like you're hitting them dead on and it doesn't count it. 
I don't like how it's kind of like you can either hit a, a knoll or a baby. To me, that seems a bit extreme. It's a Sorry. it's a knoll baby, so it's a baby either way. B. All right, okay. <laughs> but yeah, mm. <laughs> don't kill the children. I guess that's a, as responsible as the horde get, maybe. <laughs> I mean, you you could look at it from the uh, you know the ethical mercy standpoint, or you could look at it from the. Uh standpoint of you know fishermen who don't you gotta let the fish grow up we want to fight gnolls later on you gotta let the little ones grow yeah. which based yes. on a lot of the stuff we've seen about the horde feels not wrong mm. not inaccurate no it's no fun fighting children they can't fight back wait till they're bigger then smash their face in with them then you get xp for it oh god <laughs> Oh god, is that the Horde Code of Ethics? There's no XP for killing children. Huh? Yeah, that might actually be it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm at a, a shooting gallery where you actually have to aim your cursor, and I am not good at it. <laughs> Aiming. Precision. That's not why I picked this hammer paladin. Yeah, I could really use a reticle for this, and I, I'm a thousand percent sure that now that I've said that, our comments will have people telling me how easy it is to enable exactly that feature. Uh, but uh, yeah. this is where we are. <laughs> <laughs> I am who I am. I have the skill level I have. <laughs> Man, I could really do something, do with something that would be like really helpful. Probably exists, but I'm not going to look for. It's literally as we were doing it, I was like, I bet there is a way to add a reticle. <laughs> yeah. That feels but, like, definitely, I'm not the first person to say that. Feels like the R&D department's business to me. Haha. -ha. You've been bested. All right. And by bested, I mean you took a lot of my tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your defeat, vile villain of villainy. All right. Let me aim the stuff. Can I just run over the counter? And smash it with a hammer. That would be a lot better. How do these people keep their fire wings? It's, is that like a mantle, a cloak? I'm sure it's a thing. <laughs> it's definitely a feat. One of the many, many things we do not understand about this game. Mm. Oh. Should I should I go get my ass kicked by the pet trainer? Uh yeah, well, I might do that just because I hate my pets. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. So, I have another character that leveled most of his way through the '70s as I flew around, Pokemon style, battling up my pet levels, determined to come back to the Dark Moon Fair and avenge myself. And then I did. <laughs> and I got my ass kicked again. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> So I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go do it because it's, you know, got to give the people what they want. But Which is pet matter, yes. Which is very much just my pets getting their teeth kicked in. Mm. All right. Now I don't want your quest. I have to take it. And then we know how this is going to end. I challenge you to a pet battle. Your magical judgment eye looks like a real dill hole. <laughs> oh, let's just try and try and burrow. Pray for magic. I have no idea whether I'm succeeding at this shooting game or not. I'm going to Is the number going I'm going up? To say... <sighs> well what number? Oh yeah, there is a number. No, it's not going up. 
Well, he shot my guinea... His floating eye shot my guinea pig with a laser, so this fight feels already very fair. Mm. <laughs> oh, alright. If we can take down the eye, we're going to call this a win, team. Uh, I think I wasn't winning because I was uh, trying to cheat. Apparently, if you stand over the counter and try and win this game, it doesn't let you do it. Oh, he killed Assistant Wilkins. <laughs> you monster. Go, Snake. I should have given you a better nickname. <laughs> Snake's a cool name. A cool nickname for somebody who isn't a snake. You are a snake, it's just lazy. Alright, we're going to try burrowing and hope that keeps us alive for a little bit. Yeah! Take that, says Snake. Oh, Snake got his ass kicked on that one. All right. We killed the eye. We we slightly redeemed ourselves. Everybody's getting ice cream after you get your heads kicked in. <laughs> well done. Those, with, those of you with functioning teeth may have a treat. <laughs> oh, God. Too real. You killed Snake. Now prepare to meet Crab. <laughs> I wonder if this guy takes any joy in his job at all. <laughs> Beating the shit out of pets. He's a professional pet trainer. I mean, I guess at some point he must have liked animals i don't know <laughs> oh yeah we blew up the nope the tank came back to life of course yeah that would have <laughs> oh yeah classic tank power yeah of course yeah that's it's not a tank if it doesn't self-resurrect mm. and now i'm fighting uh what appears to be in uh like the organ grinder monkey with the little fez and everything oh god that's nightmarish and he dropped a bunch of bananas on me. Well, that's that's what you get, Trey. And he killed me. Oh, fuck with a fez monkey. Well, we did better than I thought we would, team. Well done. <laughs> Healing and ice cream yep. all around. And now we abandon this quest because fuck you, Dark Moon Fair Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> and your bullshit pets. I think that's going to be a, a much longer revenge quest than the turtle was. Oh, I got—I still have to uh, get some cannonball points. I'm not done with that one yet. I am I'm wasting a lot of tokens on this shooting up guy. <laughs> are you? Are you getting any of them? No. <laughs> I mean, some. Yeah, it's hard when you have to physically like point, right? Yeah. Used to this level of precision. Now we have a new thing to come back ah. and take vengeance for. Yes. Done it. Oh, I got a sarcastic clap off the Carney there. Ah. Oh man, I'm one short. Ah. Uh, ain't that the way? So I think this time we have to try. We didn't try this last time because we were still sort of uh, at a point where the turtle was kicking the shit out of us. Yeah. There's a racing thing that I feel like we, we have to do together for the, the sake of the audience. Ooh. Um, but as I'm running back to go get shot out of a cannon yet again, why don't we take some questions from the Discord Ushin topic questions? Yeah, that was supposed <laughs> to be smoother, but I'm trying to do like three things at once here, folks. It's all right. It's okay. The <laughs> sentence you meant to say was in that sentence somewhere. That's the important thing. Astute listeners will be able to deduce what you meant. So, the Lamplighter asked us if we were isekai'd into the WoW world, what race slash faction would you choose to be, and what would you do with your new lives? Um, I feel like I'd really enjoy that functional immortality. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I. Uh, I feel like I would dig that. 
Probably stay human or elf. I'm a little vain. I'll own that. Uh, I don't want to suddenly be like a, a monster person. That feels like a, a lot of transition. <laughs> I'd like to just be, you know, comfortable in my own skin and in a fantasy world, not try and tackle too much at once. I think I could probably transition to orc with uh, very little adjustment. I feel like elf might be fun. Elf could be, you know, it's sort of human, but like you don't have to worry about carbs. <laughs> yeah, I'll take elf That's actually. True. Elf, elf is a nice one. It gives you a little fantasy. You get some boosts. Yeah, that'll be. Well, elf is pretty chill. I just I like the simplicity of orcs in World of Warcraft. They look like they don't worry about much. I don't feel like you're very wrong about that one. Um. Uh, yeah, as for what I would do, I mean, probably this, like, uh, the whole dying and coming back to life over and over thing, assuming it's the same deal. Yeah, go slowly, level up, get more powerful, get some gear, make some gold, and then retire to a beachfront villa. I like the... I like just wandering around in Wild of Warcraft. Same with Breath of the Wild. It's kind of you can just go where you want your feet don't hurt you don't get tired uh there's stuff to kill along the way if you get bored yeah i think i'll just wander the earth i will say if i use my actual like character as a proxy for what i would do uh then the answer is get to level 60 get a flying mount and then just go fly around and look at shit hmm. yeah i uh, i've done quite a bit of that <laughs> I think class-wise, I'd probably want to be something with a bit of healing. I think that'd be useful. I'd, oh, I'd, I'd yeah. thousand percent be druid. They are... I love variety of function. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go do the race. Hooray. Druid would be a good choice, I think, yeah. Yeah, I, I am very much a person who, if I go to a restaurant and they have an appetizer sampler that's like a bunch of their little specialties... A thousand percent what I'm getting. I love yeah. to just try a bunch of shit. I very much love Jack of All Trades, Master of None. I think I'd enjoy the social power of being a healer class. Because people have to be nice to you. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You could you could be paladin, you get some healing juice. It's, it's a healer, but you can also kick some ass. You ready? Okay, let's do this. Uh <laughs> what the... <laughs> Excellent. This is uh... spring. <laughs> All right. Well, the spring functions exactly like you would expect. <laughs> there's Bag a clue shit. in the name. And there's a zeppelin. Oh god, this is stressful. Oh no, I'm in the war. Yeah, I know, me too. I'm so slow. Are we losing? Oh god. I think I am. It's telling me to return to the start banner. Me too. I think that just means they're so uninterested in our racing. Did we... We're not even supposed to finish. Oh no, no, I think we're... Oh, I think we keep going. I think it means we go back around to the start banner? Because I'm still racing. <laughs> Uh, my uh, jolly music has stopped, and I just electrocuted myself. I'm not going to lie to you, Drew. I haven't done particularly well in this in this no, round of racing. No, yeah, I think... Yeah, okay, my checkpoints are gone. Yeah, it's just it's left me in the uh, cold, dark, wolf-haunted wood now. It's uh, suddenly not as jolly. Uh, I see a banner thing. I'm going to go through it. Or a Zeppelin's going to hit me. Ah, okay. I... My counter is still going? Or not? I am deeply confused. Oh, the trial was complete. Oh. I went back to the start. I guess I thought we had to go further. Looked like there was more stuff. It gave me a price for that. I will accept it. Yes. Without questions. 
The real race. Oh, okay. Now there's another one. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that was a warm-up. That was the... Ah, all right. That's what the other stuff is for. Uh, so while we're on the subject of uh, isekais, I have a fun theory that I want to voice. I thought about making this into a blog, but I, I don't know if I can devote enough time to this. I think Space Jam is technically an isekai. That's... Well, you know, Space Jam doesn't make a lot of sense. So... <laughs> Hear me out. I appreciate you trying to bring order to it. But Pro yeah, you're going to have to go further than that. <laughs> uh, protagonist is summoned to another world. Check. They possess Check. skills that are mundane-ish to non-combative in our world, such as basketball proficiency, that are yes. vitally needed by the people from this other world. Check. True. There is an external threat to the world. Uh, for which they are specifically suited. We have the Monstars. And they yep. have special powers that work only within this different world. A.K.A. the ability to do Looney Tunes shit like Stretch's arms. Yes. Space Jam is an isekai. Yeah. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Oh man. Why put the spring in front of the tree if I can't clear the tree? That's just... You know, you know people are going to do it. Mm. Woo! Oh! What a... What a rip-off. <laughs> I'm going to laugh yeah. if we get like a million comments on this particular episode because of the space chance. <laughs> <laughs> you could have to write an, an apology next time. <laughs> I said, I said some bold things about Space Jam being an easy guy. And I stand by every fucking one of them. <laughs> Each and every goddamn one. You hear me? <laughs> They're just dragging me away. <laughs> <laughs> who, who would have thought that this would end your career? I regret nothing! <laughs> nothing! <laughs> oh, alright, ready for the next one? Yeah, let's do it. It's good. Now I have to reach a purple post. Are there multiple paths? Am I following the wrong person here? Did you just walk across the water like... Some kind of cow Jesus. Yeah, I, uh, I hit the running boots. I figured you had to have the power up. Oh, I don't think I'm even racing. It's still giving me the uh, depressing you're not racing music. Oh, no. <laughs> right. To this race official. Uh, they keep shooting me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. Speaking of Space Jam, I basically believe I can fly. <laughs> Whoa! Oh god, it happened again! <laughs> oh no, no! No, I fell off a cliff! Oh, this is... <laughs> this is so not totally Raven. <laughs> oh god. I do not think I'm doing well at this one. <laughs> Have you started well, racing yet? It won't allow me to. Wait, what? It just <laughs> it says, oh, I see you're all set for racing. And then it just... Uh, do you have enough tokens? Um, ah, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm a deadbeat. Uh, spring! Oh god. I think it just it won't let me go for the last check, but point. I think this is just outright they don't like the look of me. <laughs> they weren't impressed with my racing skills at all. And now I'm stuck on this weird bird beast forever. <laughs> 
Yeah, the only way I know how to get off of them is to transform into another form, which is not Thank an you. option for you. <laughs> no. You could try summoning your own mount. I could, if I had the uh, menu option available to do it. Oh, uh, okay, I think it's ah, P? Yeah. Hang on. Collections. I somehow Mounts. ran into electrified tasers. Which I'm not sure how we're supposed to avoid. Ugh. Oh, man. Uh, you know, truth be told, I think we would both potentially just end up being Pokemon trainers if we Isekai'd into this world, because we do tend to spend a lot of our time on that. Like, outside of the gags through this show, I legitimately spent a lot of time training up those pets that just got their ass kicked. You know what? In my other game, I took uh, tailoring as a skill profession. And I will spend a lot of time making uh, purple silken pantaloons. And I find it weirdly satisfying. I'm not going to lie. Maybe that's what so. the, the real answer is. We would be pet raising travelers or yeah, I'd be a pet raising traveler you'd be a crafter yeah sit there making tuxedos for cow monsters sounds like a happy life I've, I've definitely heard of worse and uh, bear form right I'm in a race again but it's the same race we were in before they didn't let me go into the big leagues I wonder why uh, maybe it's because I suck. <laughs> we saw you take that shit in the fountain. <laughs> you There's nothing no in the rules knew. that specifically said I couldn't do that. <laughs> Don't tell me how to race. I wasn't going to win, so I decided everyone else was going <laughs> to lose. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Uh, so we had a question uh, as well in the Discord session that uh, I think, at least on my end, will be very short. What What's your favorite seventies non sci fi movie? Seventies non sci fi movie. Yeah. Oh, what year was Enter the Dragon? Ooh, like that that's a that's a good. Okay, that might be my answer. Or probably... I 73. quite like Spaghetti. Oh, there you go. I like that, but I like Spaghetti Westerns as well. Oh, Blues uh, Brothers was 80. I thought it was old enough that it might uh, no, make it under the line. It's definitely 80. Yeah. That's right on it. It's 80, it's 80 on the dot. 70s had a lot of cool movies. But... Uh. I didn't realize that was 70s. Yeah, that's a... Uh, I, I don't watch a tremendous amount of older movies, so the ones I see have mostly been for, like, podcasts and stuff where they cover them. I liked Once Upon a Time in America. See, I can't tell. This is going to sound like I'm, I'm being disrespectful of Italian filmmaking here. Whether it's uh, Hollywood 70s or Italy in the 80s. So... <laughs> I think maybe Once Upon a Time in America was 70s. Oh, I thought Five Elements Ninja might be 70s, but it looks like that's actually after Blues Brothers. That's 82. Again, there was a time when Hollywood, you know, was a little bit ahead of the game in terms of cinematic quality. Are, are these just badger people? Are these just insane badger people? Are they bears? Oh, you're in the uh, zoo. Yeah. Oh, that you're looks like a nutsack. Oh, that's a hoof. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> comments can tell me if they agree or not. What the f... Like, they look like bears, but they got the big fluffy tails. Like I, raccoons? I do not know. Frenzy heart visitor. Okay, yeah. You're tour guiding. You're a tour guide. That That makes sense. Sure. They put they put a lot of uh, tour guides in cages in the exhibits. That's how that works. 
Is he showing the key to let him out? Oh, help me out. I'm the. I'm actually the tour guide for this zoo. If you could just uh, undo do the gate here. Listen, buddy. I'll... I'm already banned from three zoos for falling for that shit. All right. <laughs> this is not going to be number four. I've already got number four picked out. That all penguin you... has been making a very convincing case. All five of you are tour guides. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Locked down to our. What about the sleeping uh, three-headed dragon over here? Tour guide? Oh, tour guide. Definitely okay, tour good, guide. good. What about this? What about this monster? What about this middle finger to God? Oh my God, it's quite aloof. <laughs> it's just I'm going to take three things and put them together. Are you a rare animal or are you just a glitch? I can't decide. <laughs> How did you happen? <laughs> what, what? Roll up. Roll up. <laughs> See <Sure>. God's greatest mistakes. <laughs> One night, a uh, delivery of moonshine got spilled in the savannah, <laughs> causing an orgy. <laughs> this happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From far away, it looks like a normal antelope. You get close, you realize the horror. What is this thing? Just a, just it a has too many knees. Or just a murder lizard with a carny sleeping yeah. in the middle of it. That feels safe. This careless. is careless, carny. Is he dead? Is that a ghost? Because that's pretty careless. Oh no, he's been turned to stone. I guess that's some kind of basilisk. Ah. Mm. I'm glad we're letting that... <laughs> the rope will surely stop a basilisk. Yeah. Beware, Den Mother Moonfang. Den Mother Moonfang. I don't even know what that means. Can we We've fight it? We've definitely got to go fight it. I'm sure we're too weak for that, but I really wish I knew what we could do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these animals are like, they're not that much more ridiculous than we are. Yeah, the uh, the bear the bear people, I, I'm especially worried. Okay, all right. They've got him chained down. I was like, okay, look. The wooden fence in this case is especially <laughs> egregious. He can just hop over it. He, he doesn't even need to hop. I think a natural step for him will clear it. Uh, he's, they've probably got him drugged. On the subject of things that are definitely not held in place by this fence. <laughs> to this eagle, yeah. I was actually just looking at the legs on this thing. Yeah. If we can hop this fence, good God. I mean, they might just be sentient beings who do this for a living. Yeah. I, I mean, it's easy money. <laughs> like the the fair ends and they all squawk, ah, it's a living. <laughs> yeah. They're just sitting there and go, come see nature's cruelest mistakes. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, Gary. I'm going to tone it down a little bit, man. We've got feelings. <laughs> I mean, that's... That Maybe go to the union, a... Gary. That's like a, a tiger, saber-toothed tiger, which is rare for us, but I've killed a billion of these things. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think they're just, I mean, I'd be worried about kind of falling asleep here. I'd wake up as an exhibit. Come see this the ridiculous truth. cow person, they'd say, not realizing or not caring how offensive they'd be. Ridiculous cow people have feelings, too. <laughs> But there'd be Torrens in the audience saying, oh, he's right, yeah. That cow person's ridiculous. Um, it's all about what side of the fence you're on. Have you completed all of the potential side quests for this one? I don't know, Drew. <laughs> Do you have any blue exclamation points on your uh, map besides the pet trainers who'll beat the shit out of us? Uh, I think I've got something in this injured carny tent. Ooh. Oh, I bet it might Ooh. be like a class thing? A cow not to get injured. No. Oh, I think I'll just... There's definitely a blue check point around here somewhere. I don't know, man. There's something around here. <laughs> You've defeated the turtle. Yeah. I mean, that's all that really matters to me. Oh, it's over here. Ah. It's the, uh, the flying challenge. Oh, nice. I didn't do that. Let's yeah, you got to do that one. That's good. Uh, good feed for the stream. 
ready to fly. Majestic. That's actually kind of cool to watch from the ground. It very much looks like you're swimming. Yeah, he's making swimming motions. God bless him. Doesn't understand what's happening. It's especially funny because uh, when you tried to swim, <laughs> we had technical difficulties. <laughs> that is true. He doesn't know how to swim. He doesn't know how to fly. He's just hoping for the best. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check a mount person over here and find out how far away we are. All right, I've got 20 tickets, and uh, I do not want a dark moon turtle. You go fuck yourself. <laughs> Nobody wants a dark moon turtle. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, do you hate yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Why not take home this lovable reminder of your failure? No, thank you. All right, so it's 180 tickets for a uh, mount. Ugh. And then a it's 1,000 tickets for a really cool mount. Oh. I'm getting a hang of this flying thing. I'm soaring through the air. Absolutely terrifying, the wildlife. Oh, while you're finishing up, we had uh, one more Discord question, question uh, for the round. Any new hobbies or interests uh, this year? You know, especially in light of uh, lockdown and whatnot. Uh, no. <laughs> Staying indoors. Uh, we started a new podcast. I guess that's just what I do now. I get bored, start a new podcast. Started East Infection. With Robert Bevan and E.M. Kaplan, the premise of which is uh, three people who don't know that much about anime uh, take a deep dive into an anime. So far, we're doing Revolutionary Girl Utena, which I've become unexpectedly attached to. Bevan has professed for years and years that it is an outstanding show. Well, here's the thing he doesn't really give a shit about anime in general, <laughs> he's yeah. just got a strange obsession. I mean, like, uh, it's like a real, a deep passion for this uh, revolutionary girl, Utena. I think he used to have the logo for the show on his car. Like, uh, some custom paint job. That is dedication. It is dedication. It does have a cool logo, so, you know, it's not that strange. But yeah, I'm getting it now. We're about 20-odd episodes in. It is cool. I enjoy it. I've been really searching for a hobby lately. Um, like, trying to find something that's kind of mindless that I can do with my hands. Because, you know, the, the writing taps the creative energy pretty well, but sometimes it's nice to just occupy your brain in a different, you know, kind of way. Um mm messed around with puzzles a little bit those are fun uh i ordered a like teach yourself how to lock pick kit that will be arriving in a week or two nice um, so that should be kind of interesting um i messed around with i got a one of those like ps1 classics and tried to uh learn how to like do modding on it to make it more open source so that was an interesting little side thing so it's been oh, cool it's been a, a journey of of Various stuff. Blammo! There we go. Kablooey. Woo! But, yeah, yeah. nothing that's really uh, stuck so far. If you are uh, watching along, you've got a favorite hobby that fits those parameters. You know, something you can maybe do while watching a show or just kind of relaxing and zoning out. I'm not looking to put more substantial mental effort in it's very much a looking for a relaxation cathartic thing uh i'm definitely open to ideas but that's i've decided yeah i've decided i prefer to now watch my kids playing video games than actually play video games it's just i'm too i'm too lazy to to even play the video game anymore i just watch someone else do it i tell you what i have been on is uh by the way, we do know there's an exit right where we were. <laughs> Just didn't think about it. Um, I tell you, I've been on a weird organizational kick uh, these last few days. Like, that has really been 
my passion for the past week or so. I've been cleaning up my office, um, like installing, like, uh, I have a small little bookshelf near one of my chairs or near a chair that I have that kind of like has a gaming system to it. So I mounted some uh, stick on controller holders there. Um, been adding stuff like that to like the desk wall for my headphones, just trying to like declutter and organize a little bit. And it's been very surprisingly fulfilling um, to watch my incredibly messy office start to come together into something a little more usable. Oh, nice. One so, thing I have been doing with lockdown, uh, picking up books again. I love my Kindle. Kindles are definitely the future, but there's just something to be said for lying in bed with a paperback. It's, uh, it is, uh, perhaps the most relaxing thing I can do. So that's been enjoyable. Nice. Well, as always, we're going to kill at least one thing on Adventure Brodeo. You know, yeah, I'll leave you without your murder fix. Sorry, cat. Wrong place, wrong time. Something had to die. Today it was you. Mm. Because you are our substitute for the turtle. <laughs> Fuck you, turtle! <laughs> Hang on. Bam. <laughs> Stomp the head. <laughs> <laughs> just go into town <laughs> fuck you turtle <laughs> fuck you why can't I beat you in my heart <laughs> <laughs> alright we should probably teleport uh, back on out of yeah, here before I the guess. wildlife police find out what we've done yeah <laughs> I mean it wasn't an old baby it's fine it's <laughs> what we like is that an old teenager? That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I got to say, most of my hobbies, uh, you know, like doing little designs or making little videos or getting drunk and talking shit, sort of do them for the podcast anyway. So that's yeah. handy. Yeah, we've been doing a lot more live events uh, over the past few weeks. We did uh, some movies on Channel A and D. We've been doing our power hours. Um, Authors and Dragons at the Movies had a few installments. So we've definitely been doing a lot more stuff in the Discord. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, you can feel free to join at patreon.com slash authors and dragons. That is how you sign up and get access to the Discord where we do all this other fun stuff. Mm. All right. a nice plug. Yeah, you know, I like to just naturally uh, slip that in there. No, I didn't, <laughs> no planning. It came up in conversation. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, I think that is going to do it for this round of the Adventure Brodeo. I am Drew Hayes. And I am Steve Weverell. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time. Bye. Bye.